Hello everyone, welcome back. Professor Piyush here. In the previous part, we learned and practiced various methods of copying an object in SketchUp by using the Move tool and the Rotate tool. And also, how to create a linear and circular array in SketchUp. Moving forward, in this video, we see how to erase and undo tool work in SketchUp with help of examples. Let's begin. Imagine you don't get a second chance to correct your mistakes. It will be so frustrating. But in SketchUp, you can correct mistakes with the undo command or the eraser tool. The undo command reverses your most recent action. For example, if you draw a circle and then undo it, the circle will disappear. If you try to copy a piece of complex geometry with the move tool, and accidentally stretch it instead, undo command can put the things back the way they were. Undo is available under the edit menu. You will see the word undo with a description of the last action you performed. As you can see on your screen, it is showing us the last tool or activity we did. If we want, we can undo that activity and bring our previous model or drawing back. The default keyboard shortcut for undo is Alt plus Backspace. However, Ctrl plus Z in Windows also works. Anything you undo, you can redo also. When you undo an action, the option to redo that action will appear in the edit menu. Or you can also use the keyboard shortcut Ctrl plus Y in Windows to redo the work. You can erase geometry from your model using either the Erase tool or the Erase Context command. The Eraser tool can help you remove, soften or unsoften and hide parts of your model no matter when you created it. The default keyboard shortcut to activate the eraser tool is E key. Let's practice first how to remove geometry using erase tool. You can access the eraser tool in SketchUp in the following locations in Windows. The large tool set toolbar, the principal toolbar, the getting started toolbar. When you want to remove parts of your model, here are the ways the eraser tool can get it done. Select the eraser tool from a toolbar and click an edge with the eraser tool cursor. You will erase that edge and any faces it bounds. Basically, the eraser tool doesn't allow you to erase faces. Technically, faces are erased when you erase their bounding edges. Or you can click and drag over multiple lines with the eraser tool. Any line highlighted in blue will be erased once you release your mouse button. Another way to erase faster is by using the Erase Context command. This helps you to remove selected geometry including faces. To use the Erase Context command, right click a face or edge and select Erase from the context menu. To remove multiple edges and faces at the same time, use the Select tool to select the geometry and right click your selection and choose Erase. You can also use the Delete key in Windows to perform the same action. It's easy, right? Also, do you know in SketchUp, we can also smooth and soften our harsh geometrical edges. So in the next video, we have explained that with some live working examples. Follow that to learn more. Good luck guys. Keep practicing. Thanks.